Hello! This video is a bunch of random time lapses, most of which were made for Instagram because I couldn't quite get the video I was planning ready in time, and this one's even still a little bit late. I'm actually working on a semi-realism art tip video for manga style, but I find I'm needing to do a lot more research to feel like I'm doing a proper job. This painting here is a copperhead snake I did originally for Instagram artwork which was copied more directly from a public domain image and was done as practice so I could use a couple different techniques in Procreate and practice doing more of a realism style digital artwork. I used some texture brushes and I worked from a textured colored background in see-through painterly layers to make this effect. This artwork here is an important one to me and it's of my main character Velasa again. Even though I said I'd wait a year I realized actually I want to do another one. So I've been doing lots of artwork of Velasa because she's my favorite and main character as mentioned in my third video. And this one here is actually done specifically for the upcoming 2019 calendar because I do a calendar every year. And I'm going to use it for April which I have pegged as month of the wildcat. So Velasa is an immortal being of great power and is a cat person. She's based more on an Angora cat, um, so it's not necessarily a wild cat, but I have a bit more freedom with the month definitions when I do these than directly doing the exact thing. Sometimes I don't do the exact obvious thing, and I feel that's fine because it's better for variety. For example, September is month of the bear, but I don't always do a bear directly. I can just do something that kind of fills in the gaps with what the other months represent. For this one, I use the Art Pose app I have on my iPad to pose a three-dimensional model of the female model and affect the lighting the way I want it. And I use that as the primary reference to get the lighting and body shape correct. Now I'm just starting to work in all the different colors and get the lighting in here. I will be correcting a few other proportions and parts later. And early on in the painting, I made a few mistakes and I had to fix everything to fit back inside the lines better that I re-established. So I actually did a bit of correcting on this because I started painting it when I was a bit too tired. So then when I went back in to continue painting later, I actually had to correct mistakes. So sometimes it's better to wait till you're in a better mood or less tired. And sometimes it's better to power through. You really have to determine for yourself in each situation which one's better at that time. Because sometimes it's better to just wait till the next day. The costume design for this was one of the ones I didn't choose as the costume for my opening animation. And you can't really see the costume in the opening animation yet, but I am planning on doing a second section, which I've been working on lately, which shows her more fully in the costume, flying through the atmosphere of the planet she zoomed down on in the opening, so that you can see a little bit more of this character, which as I said is my main character and is also a super self-indulgent alter ego. Now I decided to do a lot of the shading on a layer above the main colors, so that later when I added in the silver rings, like I'm starting to do around here, it would be very easy to adjust the shadows on them. I also done a layer on top of everything else for highlights, and I added in a second shadow layer, which was a warm tone over top of a cool tone shadow layer. And working in all these layers in this order, I found worked rather well. So this video here is of a character I made up, and he's supposed to be, um, half black and half white, and I ended up coming out more East Indian, but I think that's okay. Also, this picture was originally supposed to be him a bit younger, but it actually looks like he's a bit older than I intended. That's probably because most of the reference I found to work with for the father and the mother, because I looked up reference of a woman who looked more like his mother and a, a man who looked more like his father, and then I tried to mix them together. And I also looked up reference of people who were of a similar mixed race in order to help me. The problem is all the references were fully grown adults and the age I was trying to do this character was more of a teenager. So I ended up painting an adult version of him because there's no way you could say that this isn't an adult. I also done it in more in my style, my semi-realism style in general, and I made the eyes way larger than they would be on a normal human because I tend to like super big eyes on everyone at all times. Now I went through a lot of trouble to do the hairstyle the way I wanted and his name is Kopesh after the ancient Egyptian sword. The story he's from is called God's Awaken and he's actually supposed to be a new god who's born as the son of two of the old gods of the old world. And it basically works off my main chronicle Velasa where the world was cursed and the magic comes back. So his mother is Bastet and his father was Loki, which I think is very interesting. 
So this is a bird I'm painting from a public domain image and I am actually trying to copy this as close as possible. This was done as a study and also as one of those Instagram videos um, and pictures that I could post up so that's why it's also in the square format. All the square format pictures are ones I did that were also meant to be Instagram posts. I did this as a way of practicing with a bunch of different brushes I downloaded and brushes I already owned, as well as a way of doing a quick bird study to just practice painting realistic birds some more. Well, that's the end of the video, and I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm working on that semi-realism manga um, tutorial, but I'm just doing more research and study in order to do a proper job because I felt like I wasn't informed enough to do a proper job yet, but I'm still working on it as well as an art tip page. Look forward to new videos. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!